So, yeah, like, thank you to Coach Best, uh, you know, because cause even up until this point, like I said, uh, he's always believed in me as a player, as an athlete, you know, he, he, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't give up on me. And that's one of the things I'll cherish with coach best. You know, he's a man of his word and he never went back on it. And that's what I, and that's what I always, you know, respect him for. So it's, so I always say, you know, thank you to coach best. Cause you know, he's a part of the reason why I am the athlete and player I am today because he's put me in positions to, to help me grow. And he's put me into positions to force myself to grow, which I'm thankful for. And um, in terms of on the field, what are you most excited about with this group of guys heading into next season? Man, I mean, I'm 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 excited. I'm excited about the whole the whole season whole, like, and especially with these group of guys. And the difference is the fact that we did have the opportunity to play in that COVID spring. It gave us that extra year to actually be with each other longer than we should have been. So just having that. So just having that experience and having that opportunity, I think helped us, helped everybody, even the young guys, you know, coming into the season, because, you know, there's a lot of questions about Eric Barrier and the vacant QB position and things like that. But, you know, that I'm excited about this team because, you know, we're a battle tested group. And with this team is we love competition. We love the challenge. We love the adversity and we love the schedule that we have, you know, and we don't look at it the way everybody else sees it. We see it as a way we see it. We look at it as, you know, this is an opportunity for us to, to shock the world. You know, this is an opportunity for us to really to really prove everybody wrong and, and to find out our identity this year and who we are as a team. You know, obviously last year, you know, we was we was a record setting team, you know, having EB back there and having the players that we had, we had a lot of success. But this year we see it as a as a we see it as an opportunity to to become something better than what we was last year with all the guys that we have coming back. We pretty much, we pretty much have the same team coming back. You know, we lose a couple key pieces on offense and defense, but other than that, I'm excited for the group of guys that we have on this team because they're hungry. You know, there's a lot of names that, that a lot of, there's a lot of names that the FCS world hasn't even known about on our team. You know, that's looking to make their, impact that's looking to make their print on the big sky this year and to showcase their talents and make an impact and so i'm excited for those guys as well you know we have a lot of good guys our all conference caliber all american caliber guys but our team was just so deep that you know they didn't get that they didn't they didn't get the opportunity that they deserve but this year that they're going to get that opportunity and they're going to show and prove you know that we are we are who we say we are and that's the best team in the country you know and and so that's that's what it is. And I'm mainly excited for my receiver room. Really, the receiver room, like, you know, we're so deep and we only lost we only lost two guys, but we have everybody else coming back. So I'm excited just for that room because we have a lot of young guys that did have the opportunity to play in those big games last year in the fall and in the COVID year, you know, they got to play in some important games and and they actually made some very important plays out there that helped us win win those big games that we needed. And, you know, that's what I'm excited for because this group, the group that we have this year, it's like, you know, we're mature, you know, we're older now. We don't have, we don't have a lot of freshmen and sophomores in our group. You know, everybody's older, everybody's a junior, senior. We got a couple of freshmen and stuff like that. But, you know, just collectively as a whole, it's just the fact that we're all on the same page with each other. And that's to get 1% better. And that's to be the best receiving group in the country again just like we were last year, but we want to be better than what we did last year. And every guy in our room is, is finding ways to get better, you know? And that's the exciting part about it is like, even in the FBS, I talked to a few guys in the FBS, you know, I got a couple of homeboys in the FBS and it's like, you don't, you don't, you don't even see the type of, you don't even see the type of mindset and mentality in the FBS that, the, that my group has, you know? And that's just the impressive part about it. It's like, man, like, we really are wide receiver you here at Eastern Washington of the FCS. And the reason why is because we're always hungry for greatness. We're always hungry for the next challenge. We, we smile, we smile in the face of adversity, you know, we take it head on. And, and that's what this team is about. You know, we're gritty, we're battle tested and we're ready to play anybody, you know, who's on the schedule, whether it's, you know, Florida or Oregon, you know, Montana, Montana state, like, you know, we're, we're always up and ready for the challenge. You know, it don't matter where or when, you know, we're always willing to play anybody, anywhere. 
And that's just the attitude that I love with Eastern is that we're, we're just, we're so gritty and, and, and we just have this mindset, like it truly doesn't matter. You know, it's a work, not worry mindset. You know, we just, we like, we let the, we let the off season work take care of everything else. You know, we can't focus on, we can't focus on this, on, on, on the season ahead. I mean, on the schedule ahead or right now, we just got to focus on one day at a time. What can we do to get better day in and day out? So, yeah, that's what I, I'm excited about this team and the guys that we have on this team that's willing to make the impact. Mm -hmm. And now when your collegiate career eventually comes to an end, uh, how do you want to be remembered most for during your time with Eastern Washington? Uh, I want to be remembered most for 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 my work ethic and, and my characteristic and, you know, the leadership that I brought. You know, I want to be remembered for my journey here at Eastern and the example that I left because, you know, I didn't come, I didn't come here just, I didn't come to Eastern off the bat, just dominating, you know, I do, I did, I do have like a natural talent to be like a dominating athlete, but I didn't come in like, like that. You know, I didn't, some guys came in just purely skilled, you know, just dominating off the rip. But with me, it, it, it takes, I'm a, I'm, it was more progression with me is me progressing throughout the season is me progressing throughout my career here at Eastern Washington and, and things like that. So I want to be remembered just by leading by example, you know, inspiring others to be great. And that's pretty much what it was, you know, like, and that's all, and that's what my dad taught me, you know, just, just to keep growing in life. And that's what it was. And just as a football player, you can just tell, you can just tell just through my game, you know, I don't even have to tell you, I could just show you, through my game as a receiver, as an athlete, that I just started growing and growing and growing and growing. And when it's all said and done, I, I want to be remembered as one of the best to ever walk through here. And, you know, that was my goal. Even 2019, I told myself, you know, like, I'm going to challenge myself to be great and to see and to see where I can take this thing when, you know, it's all said and done at Eastern Washington. I want my name hanging up, hanging up in the rafters next to Eric Barrier and, and Cooper Cup and, and Brandon Kaufman and all the other Eastern greats. And, you know, I want my name on the wall of fame in our locker room and things like that. So just being on the journey that I'm on and showing you and showing the cats and showing other cats, you know, like you don't have to be this five or four star guy to, to, to get where you want to be at. You know, it's truly, it's really going to take the preparation and the, and the determination you have, you know, you got to have a will, you got to have a certain willpower and a certain competitiveness to, to truly, to truly achieve your dreams and truly get where you're trying to get to because you're competing with not just the guys on your team, but you're competing with millions of other guys that have the same goals as you. Mm -hmm. So it's like, what, what were you willing to do with the time that you had, you know, and that's what I'm, that's where I'm at now. You know, I, I want to lead us, I want to leave Eastern Washington knowing that I did everything that I could and I left it all out there and I can leave with no regrets and, and that's what I want to, and that's the, and that's the mission that I'm on now, you know, whether this is my last year or, or whether next year is my last year, like, I really, I want to make it, you know, I want to make it one for the books, you know, one that I'll be remembered forever, you know, the type of career that, you know, that I'll be talked about, you know, along with the greats like EB and Coop and, you know, Matt Nichols, other guys at Eastern Washington that had legendary careers, you know, I want to be one of those guys that, my coaches are talking about later later down the line to the next generation of young athletes that come through Eastern Washington. So just just leaving a legacy there, really. Mm -hmm, of course. And now once again, Freddie Roberson, Eastern Washington wide receiver. Freddie, really appreciate you taking the time sitting down and wish you nothing but the best with your future ahead, man. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you for your time, man. This was an awesome interview, my man. Of course. Thank you.